These are the five cans I'm going to start with to build this uh, hybrid stove, wood stove, wood burner. It's a uh, hybrid um, rocket stove and uh, wood gas. So we're going to cut up these cans, assemble them together, and see what we get. So the idea is to put an aligner burn chamber inside of one can. This will be cut to be my top, which I'll pressure fit to this. And then I'll have a feed port, like a standard rocket stove coming off of here. That's the idea. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So here's an update on the uh, processing of the five cans to this point. Uh, the liner burn chamber is uh, cut and assembled. Uh, I assembled this top can to the lower one by cutting the inside of this can and then folding it down. I don't know if you can see in there. Folding it down on the lip of the, the lower section. Uh, obviously there's a hole cut here. I have uh, 12 uh, secondary burn holes around this top portion. This is the, uh, the outer can. Um, I have 12 large holes, uh, breather holes around the bottom. So the air will go into these holes uh, while the burner is operating and be heated along the side of the inner wall and then enter into the top, hopefully, for a secondary burn to eliminate uh, smoke and my hope is soot. Um, this is the uh, feed tube that uh, inserts in the front there. This last can, uh, I just chopped off the top. We're going to pressure fit them together. This will this will hold everything together, and it, once it's jammed in place, um, and I've bent the top to mate to this uh, set here. So, oh, and also I wanted to make sure these holes that I put in here were below this edge, and it's just barely. So we'll see. It's touch and go. Who knows, it's a prototype, you get what you get. So, <clears throat> there it is. The finished product. A hybrid <clears throat> wood gas rocket stove. <clears throat> um, impressions, don't know. There's still a uh, grill that has to go in here that uh, wood would set on. Obviously the idea is for air to come in these intakes at the bottom. It's heated inside the burn chamber and within the uh, inner wall there are a series of holes drilled that would act as jets to ignite any smoke or gas that had not been combusted within the chamber. Uh, very solid, no rattles. It's a little heavy, but uh, I was thinking this would be a great little weekender, car camper, base camper, whatever, what have you. Um, can't wait to try it out. Uh, uh, see, I have a pot for comparison. This is the pinnacle pot that I just got. You get a sense of, it's kind of tall, might be a little unstable, might have to work on a base or something, I don't know, but uh, curious to fire it up and see how it burns. I wanted something that <clears throat> burns clean with no soot because I don't want to clean a pot, but I love the idea of using available wood Very appealing. Not having to carry fuel. I like it. Nice little bit of brainstorming. <clears throat>